hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on this channel welcome I'm glad you're here please subscribe to this channel and you'll be glad you did because I post great content three times a week trust me you will not be bored for brass you will have gold for iron you will have silver many people on social media show edited version of their lives many only show what they want us to see which is usually the good and the glamorous but in real life there is also the bad and the ugly many people do not like to show their failures we all know that life isn't as perfect as some would like us to believe just the other day i decided to bake some keto bread and everything that could go wrong did it was an absolute disaster to put it mildly i actually thought about deleting this video and redoing it but then i thought It'll be a nice change to not only display the nice things, but also to show my human side and that sometimes things don't always go as planned. Without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video that I have titled Keto Bread Gone Wrong. For my keto bread, I'm going to be using one cup of almond flour one cup of coconut flour half a cup of non-fat greek yogurt a quarter teaspoon of pink himalayan salt and two teaspoons of baking powder in my mixing bowl i have added one cup of almond flour one cup of coconut flour two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of pink himalayan salt i'm going to mix it together so everything is incorporated before i add my half a cup of greek yogurt i have just added half a cup of my non-fat greek yogurt now i'm going to use my hands to work everything together into a dough this is what the dough looks like after I worked in the Greek yogurt with the mixture. I was able to form this dough. I'm now ready to make this dough into little balls and put them on this cookie sheet that I have lined with foil and I have sprayed with cooking spray. So I'm going to form um, different shapes. I'm gonna make some into bagels and some into rolls. I have formed some rolls and then I made some into bagels. Now I'm ready to bake this for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is what my keto bread looks like right out of the oven they are kind of crumbly um, they taste good they taste good but they don't hold together the way bread should so the next time I try this recipe I will not use the coconut flour the recipe actually called for two cups of almond flour. I decided to do one cup of almond flour and one cup of coconut flour. And it didn't come out the way it should. So I'm going to have to try this recipe again with two cups of almond flour like the recipe called for. So I hope to see you in my next video. I have since then made keto cookies that were successfully delicious, but I felt I shouldn't only display 
my successful attempts, but also my failed attempts and show how I learn from my mistakes. For brass, you will have gold. For iron, you will have silver everywhere.